Hi, this is uh, Martin Rodor from the New Jersey Devils, and you're listening to Buck Nuts. Why? Well, I don't know. It's time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Bry, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Puck Nuts, dealing with the New Jersey Devils and the NHL. My name is Ming Chen. I'm Uber fan Brian Johnson. Sunday Jeff. Walt. All right, uh, big announcement this week, guys. Uh, we're we're uh, <laughs> the end of puck nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after last week, that, it, that, yeah, this is just one step away from the end of puck nuts, right? No, not at all. Let, let's let's go with the announcement first. All right, <laughs> I'm all them right. off already. <laughs> <laughs> but the puck nuts are moving time slots. We're moving to uh, Saturdays from Tuesdays. Introducing a new show. That's on usually the death knell for like TV <laughs> shows. <laughs> they, they switch them around. TV Ooh. shows, yes. Podcast, not necessarily. We're uh, we're moving because the uh, the boss and his wife are introducing a new show called Plus One, and um, it'll be uh, all Kevin and Jen action on Tuesday, <laughs> and it'll be all us on Saturdays. Which is, will now be known as Minus One. So who's going? <laughs> we're gone. There's got to be one that's missing. Though. Isn't there one every day of the week? No, that's every day. We have one every day. No, of the there week. was only up to now. There's only been six. I thought there were seven. I thought there was one well, every no, day of the week. Think, yeah, where's Highlands going to uh, be? Highlands, Highlands is on Highlands uh, hiatus. When, no, Highlands. They're moving to Tuesdays. I think Highlands <laughs> when there is one, maybe about once a month. It'll also be on Saturdays. I think mm-hmm. we'll get bumped for Highlands. <laughs> we're not going to get bumped. It's going to be uh, in addition. Get, get, what are we going to do in the off season, Ming? Are we done in the off season? Like that? No, it? we gotta keep going in the off season. Yeah, do we start be, collecting welfare and shit? The free agent market. There, there's going to be plenty. We can't even on. find something to talk about, like in in the, in <laughs> the beginning the of the season. Yeah, <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm going to have to start saving up weird stories about people jumping off balconies and shit. <laughs> I I think this is a good move because uh, typically we record on a Tuesday or Wednesday, and um, uh, if we release on Saturday, there'll be less of a gap between uh, between games. The news will be fresher. Our our, our angst and our excitement will be. Uh, We'll be, we'll, how how do you think this affects the um, the listeners? Um, Are they just like you know what? Can they I handle be, this kind of shakeup? <laughs> I can't be bothered figuring out puck nuts schedule. Fuck puck nuts. No, oh. no, no. I don't think uh, I don't think people are After all your on, hard work and bullet point making. I don't think people are sitting on pins and needles on Tuesdays waiting for it to come out. I think on uh, Monday morning when they I don't wake know if up. We, I don't know if I've ever heard you say a more correct. Statement. Yeah, but be that truthful. And no one is waiting on pins and needles. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive him to the fucking mental ward immediately after this because this is a bad sign for me. <laughs> <laughs> he said something that could be construed as like mildly negative. <laughs> Just being honest here. So I think on Monday morning when keeping people keeping it reals. Yeah, when people wake up on Monday morning and uh, they check iTunes, they'll have they'll have Smodcast, they'll have Puck Nuts. It'll be you know it'll. No, they won't. You heard about Saturday. Right, but um, you know, some people don't listen right straight away on the weekends. They wait till they can listen at work or on their commutes. Oh, okay. So it'll be there waiting for them. Got you. So tune in on Saturday. So this is a positive. All right, we'll go with it as a positive. It is a positive. All right, second <laughs> announcement. <laughs> I'll give you a lateral move at best. <laughs> it's kind of neutral. <laughs> second announcement is the uh, the Puck Nuts uh, press photo contest has ended. Um, Walt was hoping we would have picked a winner by now, but we had such a yeah. flood of entries. I yeah. we were Check in it. next year for the fucking winners, <laughs> we're evidently, gonna right? Next year. <laughs> we're gonna we'll have one picked by Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Why can't it be fucking next week? Uh, all right, next next. All right, let's why do it. Wait, why do we gotta wait three weeks to pick this thing? We got what, like what's the we thinking, got a right? handful of of entries. We, it's more than a handful. It's like thirty to thirty-five high-quality entries. It's going to be tough to pick. Oh, it's, it's like um, picking Miss America. We have you don't to pick from. Uh, we have to mm-hmm. sift through thirty entries. <laughs> you better you know make it till Christmas. You're right, Miss America. It's like they choose it in fucking two hours, <laughs> and these are like fifty of the hottest women on earth. <laughs> All right, do you want to take out the responsibility of picking a winner? If you want to give it to me, I, I could do yeah? it. I could probably give, show I could it to do him it now. A, I could do it in do it by the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to send them all to you, and uh, you have them ready by now. Have one sole winner by next week. No, I don't. But I don't want it to be just my my. I don't want to take. I don't want to be. Um, no, I don't want to take it away from you. you. I don't want to take. I don't want to take it away from Jeff. You know, Jeff puts a. He comes all the way from Ocean County to do this. Right. Oh, show. Oh, 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 I thought. Uh, I thought he was going to rename. Remain. Well, he can. Rem- he, he lives in Jersey. We can't just say where a county he lives. <laughs> yeah, in. I don't get the I don't get the news anyways until next week. So that's why it takes me a week Speaking to see the, of the entries. News, 
Well, Halloween just passed. Right. And Halloween was our deadline. I called this clown on Halloween to see how the store was doing on Halloween. <laughs> right. And he was so flustered with – this is a segues into two things. And with our booty time from Tell Him Steve Dave was oh. the last day on Halloween along with people coming into the store on Halloween. You would have thought this guy was uh, – Double barrel. <laughs> He's Really? He's got the phone. It's the last day Sunday. And Tootsie Roll stepping up. <laughs> During the week, he's not by himself. <laughs> there is actually there is somebody here by what himself. What does it make if I'm by myself? I got if uh, if Mike is here and I have I'm taking a phone call, right? My focus is on the phone call. You're just like I can't take a phone call and give candy out to kids when I walk through not the candy. door. What about customers that are in the store? No, no. You, what was the what did you tell me? It's Taking your stupid booty calls, and I got kids coming in here trying to get Halloween candy. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I go, let's get our priority state s- straight. Put which, fucking, which booty time though was put it? A, put a bucket of candy outside in front of the store and let kids take that. And then that leaves you, you free. You candy. It sounds like he's organizing a wedding. This is what he said. He said, they come to the store. The band to deal with. (laughs) They said, they come to the store for handouts. We don't give out handouts here. That's exactly what he said. (laughs) I said, if you want, if you brought. Oh, man, Flanagan's place. I ain't going there. If you brought candy to give (laughs) out. Old Flanagan place. I did not supply candy for this place. What um? What kind of candy did you guys have? Was it like top uh, shelf? Yes, Jeff. He's the one that brought it with him. Yeah, I brought. I brought it really? back. I didn't know if it Mike wasn't those Jewish gold coins and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Jewish gold coin. The Jewish guy brought the candy. Just remember that. At least I thought about. Was the it kids. some top shelf action or? I don't know. It's probably still What'd up there. Bring? He probably ate it all. What <laughs> did you bring? I don't know. I just, oh come, come on. on! What did you bring? I think Butterfingers. There was some lollipops was it, in there. Did you bring that shit Charleston Chew? <laughs> no, I, I saw that crap in the bowl. Well, there was those a bunch like, of different those, candy. Those like marshmallow peanuts that they have. <laughs> <laughs> it was all uh, candy corn. I brought all and candy he's going, corn. I can't take the calls because I can't understand what they're saying and kids are going trick or treat and uh, it's a madhouse. <laughs> <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> I should have went click. <laughs> But anyway, what, was he able to survive? Did it? Did it yeah, he was able to get taken care of. Yeah, and the, yeah believe it or not, he had to put a cold compress on when the he kids was away, but, uh, <laughs> Did you ring those all through from somewhere? Yeah, they're good to go. But that's all that matters. That segues into puck nuts booty time. All right, man. But I wasn't puck nuts taking booty puck time nuts. is limping. Limping. How many? Um, do you want to give a number of how many we've we sold? Ne- we need to at least sell ten more posters this week, all just right. to break even. All right. Please, what's the, what's the repercussions if uh, we don't move is on a, is on its last gasp. Here. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is. It's He's just waving a white flag for the last three weeks, man. Get the priest coming in for last rites. <laughs> no, we just need 10 people calling this week. All right. For a, for we, can a get, we can get 10. All right. Well, you guys went crazy and ordered a whole bunch of like <laughs> high-grade fucking <laughs> poster tubes. And titanium shit. tubes. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, people have to get their posters uh, in mint condition. I'm thinking about the customers, man, because nothing is more important. The customer service. If you don't think that's true, you're in the wrong business, right, Jeff? Sure. <laughs> customer service and candy hand out. And candy. Know. Like that. You you two are the definition of service with a smile. Oh right yeah. There. It sounds like you're kind of out of pocket still on these posters, as far as like. Uh, oh, the, you know what? It's not the posters that are uh, that are that are hurting us. It's the fucking tubes that we bought. Tubes were a lot. Uh, I was just like, it's the pucks. Remember that we did the booty time pucks? Mm-hmm. Hot cakes. It was unbelievable. We were we had to turn away so many people with the pucks. So I'm like, wow, man, puck nuts audience really likes to buy puck nuts booty time. Right. But the second one was was not really as. as what is it? It's a poster of Kev, right? In goal. Yeah, it's it's better than the puck. I mean, it's a hundred times better than the with puck. all signatures on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a great looking poster. Come on, man. Order this poster. <laughs> Put it on your wall, ten. right? We just need 10 more. Then we can we, – then we're uh, – we, at least we are even. Gavin, if a, you're listening, just order 10 posters <laughs> so we don't have to talk about this anymore. <laughs> or buy empty tubes. Yeah. So if anybody wants to buy great, great, grade A tubes. <laughs> like if you're moving. You'll get free packed peanuts inside. <laughs> <laughs> the air from the secret stash contained inside. We have any candy left from Halloween? <laughs> And we still got the towels too to give away. Right, those are included. So uh, fourteen ninety nine US, <laughs> nineteen ninety nine elsewhere, seven three two seven five eight zero five zero eight or yep. PayPal. Give me the PayPal me. Kmuse two the number two at gmail dot com. K M E W E S two at gmail. All right, 
On to the first, well, actually the second bullet point then, man. All right. Hockey. We're going to talk about hockey. <laughs> oh. Another 15 minutes into the show. <laughs> Devils win. Devils win. Dev- Devils beat the Stanley Cup champions last night. Uh, five to pull out a 5-3 victory. The score, little misleading. Um, why is that? Why is that? It was uh, it was tied two two in the um, in the third. Um, there were four minutes left. It was tied two two, and um, uh, Devils get what I considered to be kind of a lucky goal. Hmm. The Mills go. Yeah, you know it's again he's a rookie with all the bad breaks that the Devils have gone against them. I'm glad to see one actually go their way. It was you know, a tie game, but I'm glad to see that that. He got his first goal, Mills, and I'm glad to see that. Uh, did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. I watched okay. it. You, it, didn't, you didn't watch many of the games? On the no, actually, the only you? game I really didn't watch was San Jose. That was the only game I didn't watch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the other games I watched. Oh, okay, because every time I ask you, you're like, I'm not watching that. I oh, go the other one, San Jose started at 1030. What did you say to do? I got to go to work in the morning. All oh, right. Really? It was, it was <laughs> tough. They played on the West Coast. That's my week. real booty time, work. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they played on the West Coast this week, so pretty much every game started at 10, 1030. If you brought a booty time to your boss at your real job. As a gift? <laughs> no, no. As like an idea to like so spark a little extra sales. In the, yeah, we uh, call that manager specials. <laughs> I really like spark plug booty time. Oh, whoa, whoa. Let's not get too specific. Okay. <laughs> Some guy comes in and asks for breaks the other day. <laughs> I give him a good deal. So uh, Devils actually had a lead in this one. Um, they, t- they took a 2 nothing lead in the second, which they have not done in so long. I can't even remember. The last they time were out they shot took in the lead. second period again. You know, yeah. What did you, you think when Brodeur went down? Did your heart just go, it can't get any worse than this, right? When he left, I thought there was problems. When he when he was just shaking his elbow off the trainer came out, I thought I mean, he just might have like did something, you know, something happened, maybe just got a little irritated. Like he said, with his nerve or whatever, just needed to shake it off. But after that. When he didn't come back, no, though, he didn't you come had back. to think to yeah, yourself. I, I oh, thought Christ. it was more serious than what I thought. But I tell you what, Hedberg came and he played right off the bat. He came in and played pretty good. Yeah, he made some big saves uh, right I don't fault the goals that he allowed. I don't fault any of those goals that he allowed. Yeah. I thought he played pretty good after the way he's been. Doesn't playing. he have pads on his elbows? How would he bruise an elbow? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it was weird. I thought there was always like something, even on their jersey, that would protect, you know, the, their elbow area. But there isn't. Well, he could have him if he wanted him. Mobility, then. I guess he doesn't want to play because of mobility. I don't know if any goaltender uses him. No, I don't know. Yeah, plus it's a it's a pretty hard shot too. That thing is um, it's like a disc of steel flying at your elbow. I'm about to walk the fuck out of here. I'm looking at these bullet points, right. and I don't see Ming's fucking nut of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell's going on, man? It was pretty. It was sorry. It was pretty tough to pick one. It was pretty. It was a pretty down week, despite two victories. You don't have a nut of the week? You no, of not the really. Week? It, I, no one really stood out this week. Broke door. Brodeur had a real good season, a uh, good, good okay, couple of games. He's nursing a fucking bruised up. Arnett, he scored last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Arnett looks like he's skating with a piano on his back, bro. Scored a goal, though. <laughs> I got something in place your nut of the week. We can talk about it later. All right. Man. All right. I, um, I'm still uh, concerned about the, you know, the goals are being scored, but I uh, solid goals. Um, Garbage I goals? These, I don't these see goals? A lot of, they, I don't see, I just don't see a lot of, of solid goals. And it, um, it's, it's concerning. A lot of them just kind of... Um, just going and lucky. Take him any way you can get him, man. Still played a good team. Chicago's still I a guess. good team. I guess. You can't, you can't. Your fear is no consistency if they're uh, these fluke goals. Yeah, I, um, yeah, it just seems like the offensive strategy right now. Dump and chase and get lucky. What about Zach Parisi? Zach Parisi going down. I thought um, last week I asked if, uh, if things could get worse. I think that was, that was probably uh, my low point. Um, Parisi, probably my favorite player on the team. Really? You have a favorite player? Yeah, don't you? You sound like a fucking 16-year-old girl. <laughs> Come on. If I were to Is spend... it a coincidence that your favorite player is also the cutest player? No, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, not at all. He's the player with the, with the best uh, work ethic. The uh, the player that, you know... I've Ming's been the, writing. And the hottest eyes. <laughs> Ming's writing I, Zach with a little me, heart not, uh, next to it on the poker uh, table here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't. Hey, I don't have. I don't house. have. Uh, exactly. You know, ri- poster. ripped out photos from Tiger Beat of uh, Jason Arnott in my locker. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, He's not uh, the nicest looking one on the team. That's the truth. You know, we've uh, all four of us have been known to play a little hockey. He's the guy I try to model myself after. Now, you know, I'll never come close, but. A guy, how, uh, how so? Like, what do you do? That Zach Parisi yeah, does. Yeah, he's a you know he's got a good worth <laughs> ethic. Uh, you know, he's a good goal good goal scorer. Plays offense and he plays defense. Dresses nice. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Anything, I don't know anything about that. I see him in the uniform, and that's it. You don't have a favorite player? Would you hang out with him if you could? Yeah, uh, sure. All so, like, you guys are hanging out, right? Like, you go to you go to a bar afterwards. Yeah. There's no uncertain terms. He's coming on to you. <laughs> what's your? What do you do? Like, what's your move to get out I, of it? You know, I shrug it off. Play. You know, I'll, I'll be uh, you know cordial. Be yeah. cordial about it. Yeah. He's like, come on. Come on. <laughs> no. What is he? Is he? Does he? Does he speak with like a regular? Is he like French or is he? No, he's, he's born in uh, Minnesota. He's American. He might have the little. He might might have a little Brainerd accent somewhere, but mm-hmm. I don't have a fair. He'd be point. real polite about You're trying right. to fuck you then, because they're because they're polite up there. Uh, mm-hmm. when was you it were a younger? Minnesota nice? Right? Isn't that what they yeah, call yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like uh, <laughs> yeah, like Marge. Uh, what's her face from? Uh, yeah. Oh, in Fargo. In yeah. Fargo. Yeah. Did you uh, politely turn him down? Yeah, cor- I'll be very cordial about, about it. Hmm. All right. I don't think he'd be polite. He'd be impolite to anybody though who's trying to do that. Time. <laughs> Regardless if it's a professional hockey player or not, or his favorite player. No matter what guy comes on to Ming, he's yeah, gonna like break it. He's it was, gonna break it to him gently. Even <laughs> if it was some tranny in a fucking alleyway, he'd be polite to him <laughs> behind the stash. <laughs> Such a weird scenario. <laughs> Pushing him up against the dumpster. <laughs> come on, motherfucker! Come on. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, sir. Uh, yeah, put this Ranger, you know? put this Ranger jersey on. It's not that I'm not flattered. And <laughs> did, um, if you did, looked more like Zach Parisi, you know, maybe things could go differently. <laughs> did you have a favorite player when you were younger? Um, I don't have favorite players. To me, almost all the – it's like I have a, a favorite team and almost like – because I really view it in, in kind of cold. Is like they're there for a limited amount of time and they're, they're interchangeable. Yeah, they're players transients. Come, you can't get attached yeah, to them. Yeah, players come, players go. And um, while, I, while I, I have a player that, like, Stevens is, like, a great player, um, I can never say that, like, he was my favorite. There's no such thing as to me as a favorite player. Anybody who's fucking playing good that day, that guy's my favorite, <laughs> player. favorite player. Like, if we took Puck Nuts live on the road, right, of course we're going to be getting pussy every single night. So, you're, Ming, you're tapping ass after ass. You're not going to have a favorite girl. Like Walt <laughs> says, they're replaceable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interchangeable. Right. Doesn't All right. matter. All right, I see your point, Jeff. You have a favorite player, <laughs> current player. I don't know. Oh my God, we know that. We know who his favorite no, player. He's like over I like the play everybody. of Arnett. I don't have a favorite that was player. A dumb question. <laughs> I don't like his eyes that much or his <laughs> booty <laughs> time. Uh, I'm, I'm care about how much black uh, puck is behind the net. <laughs> Quadriceps. <laughs> Any sep, I guess. I'm not talking anything about the dude. You're all talking about stuff about the dude. I'm just talking about pucks <laughs> going behind the net. Straight as an arrow over going here. Going behind the net. Whoa. So, What's yeah. that? A euphemism for some <laughs> sort of uh, <laughs> net meeting dumpster? <laughs> <laughs> Secret code. So there's a little silver lining in this injury, and this, that's just um, he wasn't playing like Zach Parisi the last 14 games. At least, um, you What's know, there's the a silver lining. That, you know, there was a reason behind the why he wasn't playing. Put him playing. out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> There's so, a reason why he wasn't playing it's like, a, it's like It's a usual. bad time for him to get this injury on in a contract year. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, he, you know, he, you know how he'll bounce back. And it, as all reports say, it's it's a fairly minor injury. He's going to miss three months. Three months. That's, that's not fucking doesn't sound minor. Yeah, yeah. No, you're for laid up for three months. Uh, yeah, relative. That's, that, like, well, three months is not minor. like it's going to be exactly <laughs> – Three months to the day. You know that like it could be turned to longer than three months. Could be shorter as well. Well, like Jeff's like, hey, man, I stubbed my toe, minor injury. I'll see you in three months. Like, <laughs> you're not really going to listen to that, right? No. Or pay him. <laughs> That's the way they make it sound a lot of times when you listen. It's like upper body injury, lower body injury. They just never tell you what's the matter with them. Mm. So a uh, torn meniscus, they sewed that back up. Um, they were the, the more serious would have been uh, like a torn ligament, something like that that could have laid in my Oh, for the season, that would have been worse. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I agree. Hey, I, I, I tell you, man, I I, I love you, and I love <laughs> just, you, man. Just You're cut just it there. Like, you are like so pr- positive, man. Everybody needs a little Ming in their life. I mean, how mm-hmm. how down were you when you heard the news? And you know what? At this point, I'm almost kind of numb to it because uh, I've kind of come to accept that this season is probably. Lost? Not going to go the way we all envisioned it going when we puck nuts started. Well, that's pretty that's obvious. That's why, I, like, I wanted to talk to you guys. <laughs> My feeling is there might be a puck nuts curse. Yeah, we were talking about that. I actually looked it up, Walt, to see other NHL um, curses and jinxes. Right. Because we talked about this last night that it's it could be uh, we might have to disband, man. Devils are doing fine until puck nuts started fucking jabbering on about them. Yeah, we started blowing them, and then they just started going mm-hmm. downhill. So that's all our fault. 
Well, I mean, it, mostly it is yours. Weird timing, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but some of ours. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here's the only one I could find. You want to hear it, Ming? Yeah. This is the curse. Both the curse it. of 1940 was a mythical explanation for the failure of the NHL's New York Rangers to win the Stanley Cup since 1940. It was finally broken when the Rangers defeated the Canucks in 1994. So they went 54 years without winning a Stanley Cup? Yeah. Yeah, up until 94. So we could be the start of 54 years? 54 years of losses. So we, we have to do this. I may, in my lifetime, in our lifetime, we'll never see another double <laughs> Stanley Cup. Well, that's our, our, our youngins will have to take up over as like when we pass it on to them, this podcast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like how Jason When Harrison and, um, and, uh, and uh, Chloe and my daughter start doing the, uh, doing the podcast, they can look forward to some good seasons then, huh? I, if that's how it's going to work, then <laughs> that's what we got to do, I guess. This one's too long to read, but it says there's a Buffalo sports curse, too. Huh? Oh, yeah. Buffalo is a cursed oh, city. Football. Football, football and right. hockey, too, man. Football and hockey. They got robbed in hockey in 1999. There was a rule where you couldn't have your foot in a crease and score a goal. And on the cup winning goal. The crease being? The crease in front of the goalie. Yeah, it's the little right. blue. Uh, blue right. Talk for other people that don't know. Holy shit! What a crease is. If you're listening to this, and you don't know what the crease is. I think we're looking at the guy right you now. You better go. You better go listen. What's mm-hmm. Tuesday's show called? Uh, uh, plus, plus one. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crease is is where the goalie. You know, that's his area. That's his home. That little box right that there. Little box. You, and back then, there was a rule that if you had your skate in the crease, a goal would be disallowed. Any player had their if any uh, offensive player had their foot in the crease. The goal will be waved off. Even that's, if that's not a, bearing on the play. That's not a rule anymore. No, yeah. it's not a rule yeah. anymore. Yeah. But um, back then it was a rule, and it was and it was one of the most Stupid. Uh, controversial. Not controversial, but just flat out like um, egregious lack of call when they when the when the Stars scored a goal in Game Six. I think it was overtime, and uh, beat the Sabers. And um, when they, there was a, their guy had a. a a foot in the crease. Devils went through that too that one year. Yeah, but not in the finals. No, though. but I'm saying not when it's like cold. a lot of goals shit, cold Could you imagine living with that? No, wait a second. The crease is the box, or the crease is also it doesn't include that half circle. The way I'm looking at it, what? like in this picture right here, Walt. <laughs> it does it. You Good see old right Wikipedia. There? Yeah, that's it's the box. It's just the box part, it's not the, the half box. circle. Yeah. Well, it would give it a lot more area if the half circle was included too, which would make it even sillier, I guess, right? Yeah, but um. Buffalo has, uh, in my opinion, yeah, that is a cursed sports town. They've they've got a lot of uh, baggage, emotional baggage, and a lot of hard losses to live with. High suicide rate there, you think? <clears throat> about sports? Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Have Football's you ever read a story? Worse, though. Have you ever read a story in a newspaper where you where some fan actually committed suicide? Um, yes, but it's in regard. It's always in regard to um, them betting huge amounts. And then losing, <laughs> like losing, there was a backstory. Losing their house. Yeah, there's yeah, more to just like, like rooting for the team. And yeah, like, it's not like Parisi got a scar on his face. I can't go on. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> uh, he jumps off a bridge. Yeah, it's always like I lost my house, my my family and kids. I have no place to live. That kind of thing. Yeah, you're making fun of me, but this guy to my right here is about to jump off uh, the balcony last week. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, I, I'm it's not. The devil. I'm not suicidal, but I'm definitely. I was definitely just like. It I is had, a market change, though, in your in your um, demeanor, in, in your your mood. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you can tell uh, not I'm only blamable. not only in everyday life, but on the show, people have mentioned it. Well, I'm puck nuts. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do they expect, bro? What do they expect me to come in here and be like rah rah rah? When it's like it's awful. Can't score goals. Uh, the worst record in the NHL, uh, uh, like yeah, up until last night. Now they're like one point ahead, and now they're not the worst team in the who's NHL. Who's the worst team? I think Edmonton is. I mean, uh, no, nah, it might be Florida, actually. Florida. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're going to kill him, eh? I know, we're gonna, I, know I'll get, I know Edmonton fans, if they're, you're listening, will get mad about that. We play them soon, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I think they're mad about something else. Did you hear them? Um, they're, uh, they're getting dancers. I can't remember what they're called, the, uh, the Oilers dancers. And uh, all oh, the yeah? fans up in Edmonton are up in arms. Why? Because it's. Uh, it's not hit, like it's not. It's uh, not hockey. It's not hockey. Yeah. See, I I'm, I'm, I find that strange because it's like it watch doesn't affect at all the game. And like when during the breaks, you can watch some hot girls dance. 
Like, what's the big deal? Yeah, just go get a beer. You don't have to watch them. That to me forced. makes no sense. I mean, I, I mean, unless you're going to go on, uh, unless it's the female fans or like you know that sexist. I can mm-hmm. understand that. No, it yeah. sounded like it was mostly males. I can imagine you know. being indifferent at best, but to actually be mad about it. It's a different yeah, way of life up there, though, right? Like Canadian can, can, Canadians that are into it's, hockey are it's, like it's their sport, it's their history. No, yeah. it's, their, know, life. it's their life's but, blood. But that doesn't mean that you can't get some some sexy dancers. Yeah, how can you not like some <laughs> fucking puss as well? Puss and hockey, they mix. So you're calling out the Edmonton fans? Well, I'm calling out the ones who are like who who are annoyed that there's going to be dancers, right? Yeah. When it was the that first to team me to have is it. like a little. Who are that? I can't even. You I'm can't like, even say it's gay. Like. Like even gay guys probably would be like, well, you know, it's I enjoyable like the, to like watch the, them dance. Sure, I like the costumes. Yeah, yeah, they, they, the <laughs> costumes are. <laughs> that's some gay guy impression. Everybody's <laughs> eyes aren't on those trucks as they're coming on the ice in halftime or in, uh, in on intermission when they're doing the um, you know the mites on ice and all that other stuff. Everybody's looking at the girls when they're on the ice. What? What's, Wait, what? On the intermission. Did you just have? Out. Did you just have a? I got totally stroke? distracted by. I thought he was going to fucking pluck his own eyeball out of his head. <laughs> He's rubbing his eyes so fucking hard. They, if they lose another game, I might have to. Somebody hold him down. Men, put your wallet in his mouth. Don't let him break what his teeth. What is he talking about? Nobody likes to look at those trucks. Let me translate. He's talking about the cars they drive When the girls out. are on the ice. He's talking about the cars they drive out during a super squirrel. Nobody looks oh. at them? At the trucks or the PI. I think a lot of people are looking at the girls as well when they're out there. The devil dancers. But I wonder, are they the first team to actually have those? No, because I, I just don't know if it's if it's that popular around the league. Uh, they say, I read um, twenty four out of the thirty teams right, have so some it's kind of pretty um, popular. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, I don't know. Well, I don't obviously, remember. they got the idea from football. Could you imagine a football team like a red blooded American being like, "We don't need cheerleaders. <laughs> Get those girls out of here." <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that to me, that's the difference, I guess, between. Canada and, and, uh, and America. I mean, they don't. Yeah, mix. although the um, I, I don't remember all the six that don't have dancers. The two I do remember are the Rangers and the Red Wings. Well, original so, six. What about Boston? Uh, possibly. Bo- I, I don't. Remember. I wonder if the, any of the original six have dancers. That's uh, a good one for our fans to like. I guess email us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, listeners. Now Ming will get fucking five. Fans. <laughs> so quick to be like, fans they're not fans of us. <laughs> I mean, that's a strong word. We can't use that word. I think Puck Nuts has some fans. Oh, yeah, definitely. People that consider we themselves def- a fan? We definitely have fans. All right. All right. If you're a fan, write in to Ming. <laughs> if you're what's, a listener. What's the email address? <laughs> <laughs> what's the email address? What's the Pucknuts email uh, address? Pucknuts at smodcast.com. All right. Write in and tell Ming how big of a fan you are. All right. Just say know, hi to Ming. Let us know if any of the original six have dancers. Yeah, we want to know. All right. And if you're Canadian, why are you such a, a fucking fairy that you don't want to watch <laughs> girls dance around? What's up with you? I would. I mean, I could see if there weren't thongs. You know, that would be a little That's kind of because then it's not a uh, like family friendly, right? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So I mean, but from what I see, it doesn't look like it's that like uh, salacious. I mean, if you're going to base, like, what I see at the Devil's Dancers, I'm like, seriously? Like, I think they should take more off. <laughs> like, they wear a little bit too much, don't you think, Ming? Yeah, a little, you know, they could uh, show a little more skin, sure. A little bit, right? Yeah, absolutely. A little bra top action. Absolutely. They're fit. Why not? All right, next time we see, uh, <laughs> we see, I uh, thought he was going on to another bullet point. He was yeah. like, <laughs> no, no, I'll stay. Ming's like, I'm fucking sleeping in the car again tonight. <laughs> Debbie Chen hears this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on to your next one. I don't even know what this means. I, uh, what, what is the next one? A High place? cost of going to a game. Like, why are you bringing that up now? I uh, I read a, I pulled this up on, on a, a news story. Um, uh, each of you have a chart in front of you. Uh, there's a comp- <laughs> charts and graphs. Oh my god, really? Pull up the chart. You don't. It's not that complicated. He's got PowerPoint. It's not that complicated. Holy Just, shit! Ming made marketing charts. research. I didn't make We're this chart. Average. I downloaded it. Okay, you it's look. A, it's for a chart it, that some company comes up with every year that basically calculates how much it costs to take a family of four to a game. For each, all 30 teams? All 30 teams. And I know it's shocked. The, who's the highest? The highest up here is the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs. Whoa, that's a lot. Look at that. How Wait, much, that's, that's Brian, right. how much is it to take a family of four, uh, four tickets? That's Canadian, though. No, no. I think that I think that's translated in American dollars. It says here. Which, five, and, you know, and it doesn't matter now because the exchange rate is basically the same. $572.32 for a family of four. For one night. So that's four tickets. Uh, a couple beers, a couple soft drinks, hot dogs, parking. Well, it says a beer is $6.53. Uh, 
Sodas 375, hot dog 475, parking 1865. God damn. Who's the lowest? The ticket price. Look at the ticket price. Lowest is the Dallas Stars. Wow. 22268. How much are their hot dogs? Mm. Hmm. So if you're you're a Leafs fan, just go on down to Dallas. You can save 75 cents on a hot dog. Mm -hmm. All right, those are 475. Well, I mean, the Leafs, understandably, they can get away with it. They pack that stadium every night, and it's you can't even get a ticket in there. It's so packed. You, you well, have all to, the um, teams that are up on upper echelon can afford to do it because they're they have fans who are willing to pay it. If if nobody was going to the games, you know for sure they'd fucking right. drop. Right, supply and demand. Yeah, absolutely. What are some of the arenas that like nobody goes to? Wow, the like Islanders. Two- the Islanders are have a higher pr- cost than the Devils do. What does that cost? Since no one. <laughs> Well, I'll post this. I'll post this chart on our blog. But um. three twenty six twenty six for the Islanders, the Jersey Devils. If you're going to go family four, you're going to go to a game. You're going to get some hot dogs and beers and sodas. Three oh two eighty three. That's, now, that's what's shocking is Detroit is is actually under three hundred dollars. I mean, you figure original six, the success yeah, that they've they're had. Yeah, they're good. They're, they're, they're consistently a good yeah, team. Where are mean, the original six? Walt, can you name uh, them for Detroit, everyone? Detroit, Boston, New York, Montreal, Toronto. Um, Philly? No, <laughs> Philly. Shh, fuck, 19, what, 1970, I think, Philly? Uh, who I missed? Toronto, Montreal, New York, Chicago, Boston, Rangers, Detroit. I think I must have named like five. That's like nine. Phoenix. But yeah, that, that is interesting. It, this is a good chart, man. It is pretty it's good. It's very, very expensive. I mean, there's no team that's like cheap. Devils fall below the average too. You're gonna you're gonna sweet deal. Yeah, NHL the average for um family of four is three thirteen sixty eight, which is crazy. Yeah, I've, that's, that's the, fucking I mean, nuts. I went to the circus. I brought and, and um, I'm telling you right now. How many hot dogs? Circus cheap? people risk their lives more than the NHL does. Yeah, they're yeah, like a trapeze rope, artist, a lion tamer. Elephant could shit on you. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see that shit elephant? Did you ever see that guy's head going to the elephant's ass? Yes. Oh, that Indian yeah. dude or whatever. That going to happen to fucking Gomez when he skated on the ice. Uh, you know, there's no chance of his head being inserted into some animal's asshole. Yeah, like your head goes in an elephant's <laughs> asshole. You deserve a three months off then. Like yeah. Parisi. <laughs> That's major. <laughs> but like the circus was like four tickets was like 150 bucks. That's and it's like there. crazy what, what they do out there, man. Right. They could die. It is, it, is, it is fucked up that a circus performer doesn't get the same amount of money as a professional athlete. Yeah, it's, it's supply and demand, though. Look how cheap it is to park at an Islanders game. Only seven bucks. Yeah, but um, you, you ever seen that Nassau Coliseum? It's not not really a fun place to visit. No. How do you know? I've, you know, I've seen it on TV. I haven't been outside yep. of it, but it just it looks it looks um <laughs> that's that's awful. It looks scary. You've never been there, but you're commenting on it. No, right. yeah, you saw a couple of black guys outside, <laughs> didn't you? You racist motherfucker! Not racist. <laughs> yeah, always trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> I love people of all colors. Hey, you can go see the Phoenix Coyotes and park for free. Yeah, they kind of have to do that to uh, are they no that good? Place. Uh, you're talking, I mean, obviously they're better than the Devils. I don't think you can find a place that's fourteen dollars in in Newark for parking. No, more like twenty twenty five, not fourteen. Five, I'm, total, I'm totally five caught up in this marketing research now. Yeah, nice. It's interesting. This is good. Right. I, I really was just. Like uh, I was. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll join you. I'll give him a hand. Good work, man. <laughs> All right, it's the first time I've ever... Uh, now, I don't know if the listeners are as, as enthralled with looking, like, listening to us look at a chart and not even read any of the information, but I definitely... They were like, hey, this is only $4. They're like, what? What's only $4? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I think it's interesting. It, it definitely was interesting. Not, you know, when you watch a Devils game and the seats are half full, you know, this, has got, it, this definitely plays a role in that. It, oh, you, there's, there's so much more to do in this area. And um, there's so many more choices for people to do. Not only that, but you know, you can sit at home and watch it on HD on a 65 inch screen TV. Oh, whoa, you know, is that how big your screen is? That's how big your screen no, is. No, not you at rich all. man. No, not at all. I'm just saying, you know, you could <laughs> puck nut endorsements. Well, anybody could say you could, but not everybody really you can. Could. You could. <laughs> I don't, I don't, there's not a chance I, I can get a 65 for, inch for, screen. You know, for 500 bucks, you could go out and buy an HD TV. Maybe not 65 inches, but you, you know. have an HD TV, don't you, Walt? Yeah, I, don't, I can't get HD on it though. Hmm. Like the cable don't work. I Take put the cable that, on and it don't work. All right, I, well, I actually I try to watch stuff on HD and I'm just it like it work? doesn't look to me like it's that much different. Me neither. 
Yeah, I even switch back and forth sometimes. Like sporting events, there is a difference. difference. That's the only thing I think there really is a, a huge then. difference. You guys need glasses if you don't. You can't tell a difference. I'll put my eyes up against your eyes. He's all got right, good I'm eyes, man. I don't think you. I know your eyes are half closed all the time, bro. So you got that going against you. <laughs> uh, no. Jeff only has one eye left from the beginning of the show. <laughs> no, Walt's got great vision, dude. I got terrible eyes. I can tell a huge difference. All right. What's our next bullet point, man? Jer- um, Jersey Devil license plates? Yes. Will I see your car with a vanity well, plate let's, on? Uh, let's, yes. Let's tell, me, tell me yes or no. Uh, if they win the cup. No. Whoa! You have to get them to win a cup to get a license plate? Yes. Preci won? Let's, uh, well, let's make the big <laughs> announcement first. The uh, state of New Jersey is announcing a special uh, New Jersey Devils license plate. It's SXE Parisi. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife's like, I'm not driving that fucking car anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that fits in the uh, seven character limit. Uh, so so the, the, this is the ver- very first vanity sports plate that the, the New Jersey's ever commissioned? Uh, apparently like this is the, the uh, first New Jersey sports <laughs> franchise to ever get a license plate. Me eat, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that one might fit in the <laughs> <laughs> The kids don't want you taking him to school today. Yeah. Like, the kids Why? are ashamed of you. <laughs> take the other car. Take my car. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I just spent spent all that money on my vanity plate. Because yeah. you're in love with a man and you're always boasting about a TV you don't even have. <laughs> Wait a second. Jersey Teams becomes the first sports franchise to be featured on a license plate in the Garden State. Well, it's really the only team we have, right? Well, there's the Nets. Nets. The Nets. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And, but the, and the, Unless you're going into minor and leagues. And we, we won't even talk about uh, the Giants, Giants or the Jets. Jets. Yeah. Fuck, them. <laughs> Fuck them. It's not New Jersey. Um, so where's all right. this money going? Okay, the Devils will donate their portion of the proceeds to youth hockey in New Jersey. Yeah, it's a good cause. Ming, uh, it's a good cause. Um, can you read that? Can you just read that thing? What's that? Which one? Like, just give people un- can, so people all understand right. what's going on. Right. We're, we're talking about it. I don't even know. If all right, headline is... Uh, <laughs> I'm just jumping around reading <laughs> random sentences. Devils' new New Jersey plate is a real dish. That's the headline. I don't, I don't really get it, but... um. What giving a great fan, pun. Giving fans a new way to show their devil's pride, the team will unveil its official New Jersey license plate in a pregame ceremony at Prudential Center on Wednesday, November 10th. Jersey's team becomes the first sports <laughs> franchise be to be featured on a license plate in the, in the Garden State. So that was my question. Are you going to get one? Uh, you, uh, I don't see a price on How this, much is so. it? Yeah, how much is it? I don't know. I don't. I oh, couldn't find no a information price. about the price. Find a How price. much is an, a vanity plate go for? Like sixty, seventy-five bucks. Oh, that's not much. Well, do you have to pay that every year or just one time fee? No, it's, but you get to keep the license plates. They're yours for like as long as you can buy another car. You can wrote, you know, roll well, the plate. Well, fucking right so over. it's like a regular license plate, though. Yeah, but a lot of times you don't get. You don't have to get the same plate when you buy a new car. Usually, if it's a lease or whatever, they can. So I'm. Mm. I am definitely buying this plate. If it's sixty or seventy dollars, like Sunday really? Jeff just said, I I'm in for sixty seven wow. years. I am going to support my team. What do they look like? Have we seen the design? It doesn't man? matter. Even if they're I, uh, garish, I'll I'll buy one. I can't <laughs> believe that you're not going to get one. Um, that is car. surprising. It should tell you on there, though. The puck, idea. All How much is the regular should ones? have this fucking license plate. Well, the regular ones yeah. are free. Puck that's one. Puck that's two. No favorite. Oh, oh, wait, we be, get to write whatever you want? Yeah, it's personalized. It's a vanity plate. You wait put a whatever second. you want on there. Officially licensed sport license plates are now available for purchase, and it has NASCAR and NBA. That's under New Jersey, too. Hold on a second here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get Puck Nut. Who's, you could be Puck Nut 1. I'm, I'm, I'm Ecto 1. All right, right What's on. Ecto from uh, from Ghost uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Okay, the you could be one. Puck Nut 1. You're Puck Nut 2. I'll be 3. And Brian, but I don't. Do you have Do you have a vehicle, Brian? Mm-hmm. It'll be Walnut Four. <laughs> I'll put it on my motorcycle. Okay. Do oh, you think you can right. do that, man? Yeah. All right. All right. State of New Jersey uh, is um what? I hope no one steals that. That's now. already being uh, taken as we speak. <laughs> that would be an honor, though. Yeah. We'll just shift numbers. Well, if it's going by the NBA thing, it says they're available for a one-time fee of sixty bucks, yeah, and close. then you personalize them for an additional fifty bucks. Can I do it at the game that night? And a <laughs> yearly renewal fee uh, of yeah, sixty dollars um, also applies. Man, can you take care of that for Walt? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fees included. <laughs> Remember how you got my my uh, my passport? Oh, your passport? <laughs> can you possibly help me out with this? <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, I might. Uh, you can on the phone. <laughs> I don't know. Going to the post office and going to the DMV is like Apple. Oh, oh I can't do it at the game? I th- actually, I think you can do it at the game. According to this article, I'm 
The application will be available that evening when they okay. unveil it. On I'm, I'm doing it. Are, are right. you going to go on record and say you're going to be Puck Nut 1? Yeah, I will be tonight? Puck Nut 1 on Friday. I will fill an application. Oh, on Buffalo on uh, no- Wednesday, November 10th? Yeah. I can't go to that game. Oh. Well, yeah, I might be able to go to that game. I okay. Think, but uh, we'll see. All right. But I definitely, I, I'm in. All right, I'm in too then. What did, why why weren't you in the beginning? With? Tell me the truth. I am um, 60 bucks? Yeah, it was low. Yeah. Well, I thought it'd be more I thought it was like 120. Right. Well, if you personalize it, it'll be 110. Oh, really? Oh, you Oh, to write whatever you want in it costs mm-hmm. more. Oh, if you're getting puck nut 1. Another 40. Okay, you know, I'm going to get it. But I, I just want, I'm just going to have no, no, just random numbers. All right, just uh, whatever whatever you have now. Yeah. All right, I think the logo is enough, I think. Oh yeah, that's enough support, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, that's a big level of fandoms. I don't know. Um, you know, I've seen your car. You don't. But you say you, you got to pay sixty dollars extra every year, right? Or yeah, it's a your yearly renewal fee of sixty bucks. Oh, it's that's, every year. Yeah, sixty dollars every. I wonder if that includes your regi- fucking plates. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Wonder if that includes your registration though, too, like your regular registration. I don't know. Wow, that is, that's, that's a lot, a though, lot of money, months. though. Well, it's for a good cause, right, man? All right, I'm, I'm still on board. All right. All right, me too. Now you really need booty time to kick in. <laughs> Come on, Sully's people. Post. Buy some tubes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, we've covered all the bullet points, right, Ming? Uh, yeah, Are we already? Page three. Uh, uh, let's go. Yes. Well, now let's go into some real. Now let's talk about something serious. Um, <laughs> upcoming games? Upcoming games. Tomorrow night's game, which will have happened. Are we, is this airing? This is Saturday, airing on this Saturday. Saturday. So, um, yeah. So, so, the, so we're getting a. So people are actually getting two getting episodes two for, of Puck Nuts this week. Two for one this week. <sighs> Double Puck. Um, so people who are listening will have known if the Ranger game was a win. How big is the Ranger game, uh, Jeff? It's big. This is, if they get this, uh, I think McLean might be a little bit uh, at ease if they winds up winning this game. They got. They got to win a game at home. They yeah, haven't won a game they at home won yet. A game at home yet. That's what I'm looking for. Is that that first home win? Uh, uh, it has been a long time since they won a game at home. I um, yeah. I mean, it dates back back to last season. Yeah, the last game of the uh, regular season, they beat Buffalo. Yeah, and, ironically, that's one we we now wish they would have lost. Yeah, but and then they beat Philly at home, I believe, in game two. Oh, right. Okay, right, right, right. But uh, otherwise, it's been there's been a lot of uh, a lot of losses in, in in at home on home ice lately, and uh, I really hope they beat the Rangers. But I, and you know they play great on the not great, but they play better on the road. So maybe with the crowd being probably going to be eighty percent Ranger fans Friday, <laughs> so it'll be like maybe maybe they'll feel like they are on the road and they can get a win on Friday. Was he hurt too, Lundqvist? Did he have problems Lundquist? too? Yeah, they said he was uh, banged up a little bit. He'll still play tomorrow, I would imagine. You know, some so tranny Brod- stabbed him. Yeah, so is Brodeur. He's banged up too. <laughs> Cut his Achilles tendon. <laughs> Hopefully he plays. Who? Brodeur. Oh, okay. I hope. Yeah, yeah. I hope. Still I wouldn't mind arm. seeing Lundqvist not play that game. Have you noticed a difference in their defense, though? I think their defense have been playing a lot better, though, Ooh. compared to Devils. I think they've been playing a lot better. I tell you, Tolinder to is a nightmare. Tolinder just drives me nuts, man. I, I I cannot believe how poorly he's played since coming over. Yeah. He, it's it's like him and Clarkson are just, like, thrown around like they're rag dolls at times. Falling all over the place. Yeah, who's the guy that always falls down? Clarkson. Giving the puck David up Clarkson. Is this, left and point. right, man. Talinder just coughs it up constantly to nobody. He just throws it blindly to nobody. Else. So uh, I mean, he's really got to play better. I mean, that's the he's pro- there for how long now? How many years have got Talinder on on yeah, the a couple at least? I think well, Volchenkov will probably be in the lineup tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know how much you can expect from him. He's been out for a long time. That but, that stiff neck kept you out almost <laughs> uh, a month and a half. He's got to be better than those two. That's the Bermuda Triangle. Clarkson. Well, Kalinder. Clarkson's not a defenseman. Well, right, right, right. But still. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say a lot of it. The defense has a hard time connecting on passes, right? Yeah, yeah. They they struggle to to, to make passes. So green Green is not playing like he did last year. That's he had a good sure. game last night, though. He had a good night, game though. last night, though. I'll just say that. But he is minus 10, though, Ming puts on one of his bullet points. Yeah, You're not well, happy with Green, huh? Yeah, I no, want to know all the minus on all the Devils because I don't think there's anybody in the plus. There, there are a couple, but, but Andy Green is minus ten, and you... I expected him to carry his yeah. success over from last year. Yeah, I was hoping they did stop a lot of pucks though going towards the net. I saw a lot of the defense; they were deflecting a lot of pucks with their sticks. They stopped a lot of stuff before it even got close to Bridor, and that's something that uh, they have to continue yeah. to do. They haven't; they weren't doing that at the beginning of the season, but they've allowed what two goals? Well, three goals last night. But their defense, I think, has been playing better since 
I don't know. Since they went on the after the San Jose game, I thought their defense had been playing playing a lot better. But they're also playing with the same people now for a while too. Yeah. They're not. Being, I mean, well, it's not like they weren't playing. Up. Let's be honest, though. It wasn't as if they weren't playing high echelon teams, though. So well, it's San not Jose. like they. That's, no, that's what I'm saying. So it, like they were facing the top teams sure. um, on this road trip, and uh, other than the the uh, the Ducks. So I mean. While there's no gimmies, it's like their schedule has been brutal in terms of like there's been no like no breaks. There's just, been well no breaks and also like no games where like you feel like you're playing an inferior opponent. Right. Although you never want to feel that way, but at this let's time be I don't honest. think there is an inferior opponent for the Devils. You know, the way they've been playing, their offense has just not been you know, right. last night they got a couple of goals. They played, you know, a good game again, but with it, with what thirty something seconds left, you saw what happened. Could have been a could have been a quick could've turnaround, real way. quick. That was an edge of your seat game. But hey, still Chicago's the end. still a good team. Even all they lost all those players, they still got Seabrook on there. They got that that other guy's. What was his name? He's he leads the league in goals. The one guy they were talking about yesterday. Toast, taste? No, it was um I forgot his name starts. Uh, but he's he's the leader, and you know you would think that normally it's. Ovechkin, sharp? yeah, I think it was Sharp. He's got he had the most goals. He's got ten goals right now. Mm. So they still have offense. I, I think that the, the Devils can get this win tomorrow. Um, it'll be a nice feeling because they get a break after that too. Yeah, it's they, like four days. Then they yeah. play Buffalo again, or is that Edmonton? Yeah, uh, play Buffalo and then Edmonton. Yeah, so, so two would, game, two teams that are not also not doing well. They got shellacked the last time they played Buffalo. Well, okay, they got beat up pretty good. Did, let's not bring they, that up. But it's not like Buffalo's high offense, though. No. So they should be able to hold Buffalo to under three, you would think. All right. You so, going to the game tomorrow, Walt? Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, go? We're yeah. all going. You're going? I'll go. Jeff, all right. I'm going. Puck uh, Nets in attendance. Um, Ming, have you been keeping up with your blog, your uh, Devil's blog, your, uh, yeah, your Puck yeah, Nets yeah, blog? Yeah, here and there. Yeah, just uh, whenever Maybe anything. Here there. Whenever it needs a... When's the last yeah, it's either you, yes or no. When is the last time you uh, updated the I think the last the post was uh, I put up the video of the uh, the Rick Rippon um, incident from a couple weeks ago. So you haven't been keeping up with it. Uh, I mean, what, I mean, what Why else? Are you lying? <laughs> oh. That's Why it. are you lying? That's like we can't go and check in like two seconds. Well, how, how often do we have to update it? Every day? Yeah, it'd be like I the Fire and Ice guy that's fucking updates it every three update. seconds. Daily updates? Game updates. Game updates. All right, after each game? All right. I would think that's like that would be keeping up with it. All right. Well, you have to say, all right, if you don't want to do it, you want to do it. Right, but no, don't no, lie do and to... say, like, yeah, yeah, I've been keeping up with it. Well, I had an idea. I'll bet you this will make you want to keep up with it. All right. It's called Bry's Bust a Nut of the Week. Busted Nut? Mm, oh, Bust a Nut. <laughs> bust a Nut? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. How, how did you bust, bust a Nut this week? <laughs> this is what's that? Is that what Suzanne said? <laughs> yeah, she was like, this fucking old man and his busted nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're a, if you're a female listener, or if you're a guy and and you want to you put your girl in their in uh, their your favorite jersey, nice sexy nice. picture, send it in and you can be the the bust a nut of the week. All right, and you I, know I, I, we'll put it up on the blog. This is a non visual medium, though. No, no, no. We no, can we'll put, put it up it, on the yeah, blog. We'll put it up on the blog. blog. Kind of like you're that you're the you're the nut of the week, except you're the bust a nut of the week. Mm-hmm. All right, I like that. All right, do it. Little sexy pictures. Dude, no, no nudity. Up. Tasteful, tasteful sexiness. Artistic, mm-hmm. tasteful. All right, send those into uh, pucknuts at smartcast.com. Look how excited he got. He uh-huh. loves that idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, suddenly the blog's fucking updated every fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> That's a good no, idea, right? You got no reason to argue against that. What, no. if, um, if, what if it's a girl in a Rangers jersey? You gonna, you accept that? Um, you know, what? you send in that picture, and then I'll print it out, and then I'll come on that picture <laughs> on its on her face, <laughs> and then we'll then we'll put that on the blog. Photoshop a black guy. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. <are> you racist! <laughs> well, I said a black guy. Black eye. Black eye. I said black eye. Okay, okay. Let's, let's clarify here. I was like, "Whoa, that's what I thought you said at first. <laughs> All right. So, anything else to address, Mike? All right. No, I think that's it. What uh, how much time week? we got? We got um, how long has it been going? Uh, about forty five minutes. We got time. What do you got? Give us give us ten more minutes. Let's go. I don't got anything. Oh, no, you don't have anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bust a nut was my <laughs> <laughs> that and the curse was my contribution. Bust a nuts. I like busted nuts better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send in a this picture of your homely girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> or, or if you got long balls, if you're a dude, see if they can hang lower than a jersey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, we could have another contest. That's our second contest. If your balls hang lower than a jersey, <laughs> you get to go to a game with us. <laughs> and you can't, like, fix oh, the jersey. Man. You just have to lay normally on your body. And if By your balls hang size. lower than the, than the jersey, at the end of the jersey... And you got busted nuts, and you can come see a game with the puck nuts. That, uh, that just mm-hmm. went from the highest to the highest <laughs> to the lowest. Things like that. I gotta look at these pictures. So. <laughs> Brian, uh, Brian pulled a picture like that once. Oh, I yeah. Know, I don't know if you remember it or if anybody remembers it, but um, yeah, he, he showed his nuts in public hanging pretty low. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Where, well, they weren't hanging low. I just had that. We did an auction once where we needed a, a model. Right. Uh, Brian jumped in willingly, and he showed his nuts. I had nuts. a poster, and I like, held the poster up, and he gets oh. nuts because I the poster. <laughs> yeah, we, might, we might post that picture up. Yeah, it's like, uh, here's here's an example of what we're looking for. <laughs> I found <laughs> um, looking Mike, for. Mike found a picture in an old box downstairs. Mm-hmm. It's a picture of you and Muse at, at the mall in Minnesota. And you guys have oh, your, their nuts out? You guys have your nuts uh, sticking out of your fly, <laughs> and, but the nuts look like um, oh. they look like t- they look like something like that you get out of a gumball machine, like you know those like those magic <laughs> eggs that uh, they oh. look so weird and shiny like and silly, plasticky, <laughs> silly putty, <laughs> like little like garden hoses running through like blue veiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Mike was like, "Oh my god, I never needed to see that." Is that really? A- yeah, Funky <laughs> just asked. Is that on the Mallrat set? Probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird that that picture was just laying around. It was in a box. Yeah, it was like a eight by ten. It's weird. Not an eight by ten. I mean, it was a like a Polaroid. I mean, <laughs> suitable for framing. <laughs> like found porn. You know, like you ever walk through the woods mm-hmm. and you see like a ripped out page yeah. from like a penthouse. That's so. You weird. wonder how it got there, right? Don't you think? Like, what's the origin of this? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a long lost uh, treasure. That's so we weird. found porn down. But I, I got a story to tell you, Ming. All right. Oh, I guess. Well, actually, everybody knows it. But we had a, a, catas- a mini catastrophe in the basement of the store. What happened? Do you know what happened? Yeah, I know. What what happened? Happened? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're the only <laughs> one here. No Play the theater of the mind and shit <laughs> over here. <laughs> Play it up. It's a bit. Come on. Um, and um, go on. We, we got our oh furnace. My God. We got our furnace replaced. We went over from oil to um, gas. And, to, uh, to old fucking Kevin Smith posters we couldn't sell on booty time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those puck nuts booty posters that you, you can't sell. What about them? That's what you're burning now oh. instead of oil. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so they so the furnace people came in and um, they made the changeover, and uh, the fire marshal came in and was like did some uh, some inspecting to see if everything was up to code, and it wasn't up to code. There was some. Uh, some defects in the in the new uh, furnace, and we had to clean up a little bit down there too. So while we're cleaning up down there, we we hit an oil line, a gusher, a gusher, and we and oil <laughs> Texas tea, yeah, some some um, some black oil fuck started to sprouting everywhere, and um, safe to say, me and Mike, although we might have brain tumors, <laughs> we were down there for hours cleaning up, and we got it all cleaned up. But we also found down there. This weird ass box of seventies uh, porn magazines. Get out of here! You didn't tell me that. Wait, like swank. Oh, oh interest. Why not? Uh, cherry was cherry. Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think there was a cherry down here. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I mean, it's just like not titillating at all. The hairdos are so fucked up. They're Please so, tell me you still have it, right? You get rid they're of somewhere it? downstairs, but I, they're buried now because we cleaned up, and I don't know where we put them. God wait, wait, wait. The hairdos up top or below? I mean, disturbing. up top. I mean, hairdos okay. like like you know, it's uh, major Peg Bundy. If it's... Look, every, oh, really? every lady looks like Peg Bundy. With the hairdo. Oh. It's fucking weird, man. And it's weird because like none of it is like airbrushed. Oh no, no. You see all the d- defects and imperfections. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anomalies. But yeah, we, it was uh and uh, Mike said that he knows where it came from, that somebody sold us a gigantic box of comics, <laughs> and in the box all at the end at the bottom of it was all that porn and we just buried it down there. I, I don't remember doing it, but yeah, but uh, he's probably right, that's where it came from. Wow, this makes it so much sense now. It so. was like uncovering like uh, some sort of ancient artifact. Though. Right, it was like unearthing a Tutankhamun. <laughs> wow, it's riveting, right? Oh, I, I thought so until you told me it was fucking <laughs> okay, buried cool. again. Yeah, they're I down would. there if you want to look for them. Well, you said it's a fucking discussion oil down there. I'm no, not no, it's go all cleaned up now. Slipping and sliding. We're all we're all legit down here. 
I was mm-hmm. wondering why you guys were down there for so long. I had to come up and watch the store while yeah. you guys were cleaning down there. And I was, you know, like hours went by. It was dirty. Because they were looking at the porn? Yeah. Uh, or something else. I don't know. But mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, what do you think we're going to see tomorrow, dude? Do you think we're going to see the Rangers eat nuts? Booyah. See you next week. <laughs> Find more funny shit like this at Smodcast.com. Scott, we ain't the only game in town. There's lots of other funny stuff going on at the Smodcast Podcast Network. For sure. So why the fuck are people just listening to this show? Go listen to the rest. Listen to the rest. You know why? It's all fucking free. It's all you know free. why else? Every day of the week. Seven days a week. For the shadow. Actually, absolutely, man. There's the Green Hornet time where it's just like, and then the Green Hornet entered the room. Hello. <laughs> See how riveting that shit is? That's what's happening all the time at smodcast.com. It's theater of the mind, people bitch. People entry. <laughs> people come in. People say shit. People leave. That's as gripping as it gets. That's the beginning of drama, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smodcast.com. It's all free. It's all funny. It's monsters of talk. There's so many to choose from. <laughs>